morning. Uh, a couple of things I want to talk about um, regarding Carson Wentz and all these allegations, you know, that he wants to be traded and he don't want to be in Philly and he prefers not to be there. Look, I'm going to start off by saying, dude, I don't believe anything anybody else says, you know, even if it's Adam Scheffler, you know what I mean? Like, if it doesn't come from the Eagles themselves or Carson Wentz himself, I don't believe it. You know, I don't believe that this guy wants to get traded, wants to get, um, wants to leave Philly, you know, like, that he don't want to be there. Like, I, I, I just don't, I don't believe anything, you know? Like, they, 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 we've made all these moves up to this point. What is it, February 4th? To keep Carson Wentz. You know, even even if it is going to be a competition, it's only going to make both players better. You know, we, besides, whether it's Jalen or, or Carson, we need both of them on our team. Because we need to ensure that we have an elite quarterback, starting or backup. You know, obviously, if it was me, I would have Carson starting because I don't believe... A lot of things this season was his fault. Everybody wants to say, well, he needs to play better. Everybody wants to say, you know, well, he just wasn't good enough. Listen, dude, none of the team was good enough. None of the team. The whole team. You know, we had badass defensive games, but then secondary sucked. Like, it wasn't a whole complete defense. It was just... Like the D-line. And then, you know, you had Darius Lane made a couple of plays. And then you had the rest of the secondary sucking. Like, it was... We, we didn't have a complete defense. On the offensive side, the same damn thing. You had, you had some... You had Sanders, you know what I mean? Miles Sanders run for, like, you know, 80-yard touchdowns. And then we go for three or four drives where it was just crap play calling, sacks allowed, you know, receivers sucking ass. You know, they, they like people want to act, but we had highlight games. We won four games this year. People need to realize that. Like, we, we only won four games. That's how good we were. We were like, it's it's not like, you know what, we lacked this and we lacked quarterback and we lacked, you know, elite play calling. We lacked everything. We lacked offensive line. We lacked receivers, good coaching from receivers because our receivers were not that great. You know, and most of all, we lacked good play calling. We did not have good plays. There was a lot of, like, why did we do that place? Especially, like, on fourth downs, two-point conversions. I like to be aggressive, yes. When we have an elite, complete team, you know, we, we weren't winning a lot of games. So a lot of those calls on fourth down and two-point conversions were not necessary. There's a lot of field goals that could have happened. You know, now you have Jake Elliott, like he's, he's still, I think he's still okay. He's still good. I, I would try to keep him and fix him because he's made the longest Eagles field goal in Eagles history. I just think he gets jittery, you know, and he, he starts to miss some of them because we don't kick the damn field goal. He has more pressure on himself. Like we put more pressure on him. When, when we have him kick like one field goal you know and that doesn't mean like I'm not counting extra points because those are like you know chip shot those are easy those are easy but even he, he was even missing those because we, we weren't we didn't have him in the game 
We don't put him in there when we need him. Fourth down and, and we're on the 30. Kick the field goal. You know, fourth down and, and like five or four. And we're on the 30. Kick the field goal. Fourth and goal. Kick the field goal. You know, we need to kick field goals sometimes. I understand, like, you know what? Well, there's two minutes left in the game. Um, we have the lead by, let's say, one. You know, and we're inside the 20. And then we're like, it's fourth and one. Then you go for it. You know, you try to get the fourth down to run that clock out. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. You know, it's very simple. Um, oh, a quick reminder. I got the Chiefs winning the Super Bowl. They, they're going to take it. I just think that they just have too much firepower. Um, on the offensive side of the Chiefs. It, because the keys to that game are going to be if the Bucks can slow them down. That's that's it, dude. You know, once once Brady gets stopped once or twice, they're, they're screwed. The Bucks are screwed because if they can't stop Mahomes and and the Chiefs offense, it's, it's over. You know, so I have the Chiefs winning... 31-28. That's, that's what I have them winning at. Excuse me. But yeah, I just I just want to point out that um, if you're an Eagles fan, you know, you need to sit back and relax, at least until the draft. That's when stuff's going to happen, you know. That's when we will trade either Jalen or if we do end up trading wins, which I don't think we will, you know. We're going to be owing a lot of money to that man if we trade him. And I just think it's not the best move. And I'm a huge fan of Carson. I don't care what anyone says. None of this year was his fault. None of it. Like, I, I honestly, like, none of it. He tried his best for what he had. He just did the best he could with what he had. And honestly... If, if I was back there, you know, and I'm getting sacked every game more than once, you know, because you got to remember, we allowed more than 60 sacks in 17 games. So do you do the math on how many times Carson and Jalen Hurts and Jalen Hurts got sacked? Like, they got sacked. You know, this, I don't even remember the last time we allowed 60 sacks. It's been a long time. And honestly, like, I, I don't, it's, it's, I don't put it on anybody. I don't even put it on even Jalen, you know. He's, he threw three interceptions. He got sacked when he was a starter. It's it, like, it's not like, oh, everything was erased to Carson. He did the same things Carson struggled with, Jalen or struggled with. That's just the bottom freaking line, man. And yeah, dude, I I I hope and I have two Carson Wentz jerseys. I hope that we keep this guy because we need we we need to like fix what we have, what we're spending our money on too, you know. We keep Jalen. I, I think we keep Jalen. We need to keep Jalen because if we get rid of Jalen or we trade him in the draft, you know, we would have drafted him for nothing. You know, it depends on what we're getting back, obviously, right? But we, we're we going to trade him and we drafted him, you know, what, last year? You know, like, why, why draft him then? You know, like, why... Why put him on our team? We got him. We need to stick with him. Because guess what? If something happens to Carson, we got Jalen. You know? But as, as far as turnover problems, sack problems, none of that's going to be fixed. Obviously, we changed the coach. So play calling should be changed. There should be design game plans for both of these guys, whoever's starting, you know, I hope it was Carson, but even if it is Jalen, 
It should be nice game designs for both these guys. Good play calling. And secondary. Secondary, we that's the, the lottery we need to, you know, get in the draft. We need to get a badass. Our first round pick goes straight for a corner or straight for a linebacker. One of those is what we need to go for. I don't want anything else. You know, even if it is a safety, safety too. You know, I don't want another defensive line, man, because we got good defensive line. I don't want another good running back because we got good running backs. I don't want receivers because we have a lot of damn receivers that they just need work. That's it. They just need to put in work, practice. That's where you get better. But yeah, I mean, I just, I don't want anybody to be, to be thinking like, you know what, like, especially Eagles fans, you know, I've seen them posting, he prefers not to be in Philly. All those are just the media talking. I'm out.